In this video, we'll discuss how to execute the advanced market trend analysis with smart money concepts trading. I will teach you how to identify long-term, mid-term, and minor trend, and how to apply trend analysis for making predictions and trading SMC. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let's start. First, let me remind you the basic rules of market trend analysis in SMC trading. We say that the market trend is bullish if there are at least two bullish impulses with two higher highs, and the retreat lag between them with the higher level. We say that the market trend is bearish if there are two bearish impulses with two lower levels and the retracement lag between them with the lower high. If the conditions for a bullish or a bearish trend are not met, we say that the market is consolidating. And here are two significant events in a bullish trend that you should know how to recognize. Bullish violation of the last higher high in a bullish trend is called break of structure. Bearish violation of the level of the last higher low in a bullish trend is called change of character. And now briefly about important events in a bearish trend. Bearish while violation of the last lower level in a bearish trend is called break of structure. Bullish violation of the level of the last lower high in a bearish trend is called change of character. In a bullish and a bearish trend, break of structure signifies the trend continuation, while a change of character signifies a trend violation. And here's how we apply all that in practice. In order to apply these rules on a price chart, we perceive the market movements as the set of impulse and retracement legs. However, with such methods, method of analysis, a big question arises. What exactly is the impulse lag? How long and how strong should it be? Which price fluctuations can be the part of the impulse lag and which should be excluded? Look at these three charts. It is the price action on Aussie cat pair on a daily time frame. A price movement here can be perceived as one single bullish impulse on the left. It can be perceived as the combination of three bullish impulses and two retracements between them on the second chart or it can be perceived as the combination of multiple impulses and retracements on the chart on the right. And which way of analysis is correct? Where the impulse lags are identified correctly. The only difference between three methods of the analysis that we discussed in our example is the perspective. The fact is that the price action analysis on each chart is correct and valid. With advanced SMC trend analysis, you should learn to perceive the price chart not only as the set of impulse and retracement lags, but also as a combination of long-term, mid-term, short-term trends and movements. From a long-term perspective, the entire price movement on the chart is a one single impulse. From a mid-term perspective, it is the market that is trading in a healthy, steady bullish trend in three bullish impulses. From a short-term perspective, it is the market that was trading in a bullish trend, then the market started to consolidate, for some time the market was coiling, and then bullish trend resumed. You can see that the lower is the perspective, the more details arise. And depending on your trading style, such a reasoning, such method of analysis can be applied on any time frame. Look at the price action on Aussie Yen pair on an hourly time frame. From a long-term perspective, the market is trading in a clear bearish trend. Studying the last bullish impulse in details, we can spot that the market started to trade in a minor bullish trend. And the trend, was violated with the confirmed change of character. Why do we need such an in-depth market trend analysis? Always remember that a global trend is always born from a minor trend. Minor trend analysis will help you to identify the reversal and trend following signals much earlier. Now let's discuss another example. Euro New Zealand is trading in a clear, strong bullish trend on a daily. Zooming in the chart and analyzing the last long-term bullish impulse, we can also analyze that as the mid-term bullish trend. At the same time, if we analyze the last minor price movements, we can spot a minor bearish trend. From a long-term perspective, Euro New Zealand is strongly bullish. From mid-term perspective, the pair is very bullish as well. But from a minor perspective, based on our minor trend analysis, the market is already bearish. And the fact that the pair started to trade in a minor bearish trend can be a very important sign for us. After some time, the market started to fall rapidly and the minor bearish trend continued. The mid-term trend was violated as well and we got a confirmed change of character. And from the long-term perspective, 
be correction initiated. Your ability to correctly analyze different market perspectives is essential for making accurate predictions. Moreover, the trend analysis events and rules that we discussed are more than enough for profitable trading on any time frame and on any market. Let me know to this in the comment section if you have any questions. Also, if you want to see how I treat my trading strategy live, if you want to learn how to trade profitably, do not forget to check my trading academy, the link in the description below. Also, traders, do not forget to watch my other videos.